To be a digital scrapbooker, you need the tools of a digital scrapbooker. And on the onset, you really only need three things. A computer, Mac or PC, your choice, some photos you love, and a digital photo editing program. Let's take a closer look at all three. Well, actually, we'll skip the first one. For digital scrapbooking, the kind I want to teach you how to master, you'll need a computer with a mouse and a monitor. I'm going to assume you have access to one. You'll also need photos that live on your computer. Whether you shoot photos on a film camera and scan the photos onto your computer, or you're more modern and have a digital camera, or you prefer to mark the occasions using a camera phone, you must import your photos onto your computer to digitally scrapbook with them. The easiest way to gather digital photos is to connect your device to your computer using the camera's USB cable. Your computer's photo import software will usually have no issue with asking where you want to import your photos. You can also download them off a of cloud if you use that type of technology too. But every computer, camera, and setup is different, so if you're unsure on how to get your photos onto your computer, please connect with us at the Scrapineers forum so our knowledgeable peers team can help. Finally, you'll need a program that allows you to edit said photos with the option to retouch your images, play with composition, adjust colors and saturation, apply preset filters and special effects, and otherwise go all digital art geek out. There are a number of programs available, including my two favorites, Adobe Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. However, in a push and pull match where you need to choose and invest in just one, I recommend Adobe Photoshop Elements dubbed here on out PSE. PSE over the years has evolved into a top-notch program that not only allows you to edit photos superbly and with little fuss, but also build beautiful layouts for your photos. You can easily customize a photo page with embellishments, ephemera, and text, plus special effects to create timeless, attractive, and touching photo pages and books highlighting your favorite memories. PSE is very user-friendly once you're properly introduced to it. And that's why you and I are here, huh? It's also affordable. On the day of this recording, PSE 13 regularly sells for 100 bucks. But if you snag it before Mother's Day, you can instantly save $30 right now. So it's a steal at 70 bucks. And if now isn't the right time, Adobe does regularly host special savings on the product throughout the year too. In addition, Adobe also offers a free 30-day trial of Photoshop Elements, so you can test drive everything under the hood for a full month. I highly suggest you take Adobe up on this offer, but if you know now you want to invest into the program, buy it while it's on sale. Once you've loaded elements to your computer, you need to set it up and get familiar with the interface. So we'll take a look at what's under the PSE hood in the next video. But before we do, your first class task is at hand. Download and set up Adobe Elements on your computer.